I'm Ray Bryant. I'm with the Houston Suffragist Project and I'm uh, here at the gallery at the Heritage Society in Houston, Texas. And the exhibit on the suffrage movement in Houston 100 years ago has just recently closed, but you can go to the website and for $5 have a virtual tour and you can access on the YouTube the free lectures and presentations. Um, what I'd like to talk to you about for a few minutes is Nobia Franklin. She's a very important suffragist here in Houston. Nobia, around 1915, started her own company in hairdressing, hair design, and manufacturing of hair products. This was a new industry, and in Texas, uh, women had difficulty starting their own businesses because they had a, a lot of laws suppressing them. For example, if they were married, they couldn't uh, enter contracts. By 1918, she was married and she continued to use her maiden name. So you can see she's a very forward looking person. She had her own money, she bought her car. Uh, she had the school with students that came as far away from Kansas City Kansas, Oklahoma, throughout Texas and Louisiana. She had the largest school for African American women to learn hair techniques and use her products west of the Mississippi River. She funded a lot of the suffragist activities and her husband was also precinct chair in one of the active African American areas of Houston. She moved to Chicago. Sadly, she passed away and her family moved back to Houston and opened up her schools again and continued the Franklin Beauty School, which is in continuance today with two locations. So they've been in business over a hundred years. They were acknowledged at their hundredth anniversary by President Obama. But we all started because of Novia Franklin's dream and she also had the dream that women could be independent businesswomen and full citizens.